Yo, what's good everybody? It's Casper. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a crazy watch to say the least. And the movie I'm talking about is called A Man Called Otto. So let's get straight to it. So what I know about A Man Called Otto is a remake from another movie. Um, I think I got the last part wrong. A Man Called Off. This movie, A Man Called Otto, it's a 2022 film. It's rated PG-13 honestly very shocked that it's pg-13 it's two hours and six minutes it's directed by mark forster it's starred by tom hanks mariana trevino mac beta cameron Britton, truman hanks it's about tom hanks who plays the character otto his character is a grumpy old dude who's basically mad at life mad at himself mad at everything that goes on in his life he has that attitude of just being very grumpy and then he lives in a neighborhood that he's been in there for a very long time uh new neighbors end up coming to move in when these new neighbors move in otto actually meets his match he is very surprised on the very out of nowhere relationship that he builds with this family this relationship that he builds with his family ends up turning his world around from him being so depressed and just mad at everything while he is very grumpy and shows that anger and that tone of just being like very grumpy all the time he does have a soft side and he does show some support when he doesn't even know it so he does show some good friendship and companionship moments at times while he's dealing with a lot of these depressing moments this movie is absolutely crazy in so many aspects i'm gonna start it off by just saying thomas newman is involved with this movie so the background music automatically made the movie feel so much better the goosebumps were real the flow of this oh my gosh thomas newman is just the man i wanted to point that out first because anything thomas newman is in i already know he can make a mediocre movie into an outstanding movie just with his sound Tom Hanks acting shocked me a lot. It was a very smooth acting by Tom Hanks. The emotions and the facial expression of being an old grumpy dude and his walk and his demeanor and his tone, all that was showed with Tom Hanks' performance. The comparison from other movies of having an old grumpy dude, there is other movies like that, like Gran Torino. The Gran Torino is actually rated R and this movie is rated PG-13. There's moments in this movie, A Man Called Auto, where I thought it had to be at in rated R rating but the fact that it's at pg-13 it shocked me will definitely be a movie where i'm like yo have you seen a man called auto by tom hanks used to seeing tom hanks in more of a happier role with just more charisma and just a happy feel and this movie i'm seeing a whole different side and the range is absolutely insane while he's going around and doing his routines around in the neighborhood all that is believable flashbacks thought that was well done i thought that added and it protected the side of just him being old i like there was an even balance with the flashbacks and him being old i felt like both of those stories aligned perfectly and there wasn't more of him being old or more of him being young i could see other people being like the flashback scenes is just becoming too much but in my opinion the flow of it was perfect and the younger Otto was actually played by Tom Hanks's son he didn't have too much lines but for what he had I thought it was enjoyable and it fit very well I'm glad it was Tom Hanks son so it makes a lot more sense and the flashback scenes did not bother me at all the new family that moves into the neighborhood the wife of the family is Mariana Trevino who plays Marisol Marisol is married and she comes and moves into this neighborhood with her husband and two daughters daughters and the introduction was perfect Otto wanted to come in with us already knowing that all oh, there's new neighbors very picky on what happens in the neighborhood Mariana Trevano's acting on here was at times funny she has that attitude that she didn't want to take anything from Otto and I honestly appreciate that it's really good flow that Marisol was that person in there that could see Otto's depressed ways she was very worried about Otto in many scenarios in this movie and she caught on to that Otto was that type of person and the fact that Otto had an attitude problem and had many moments and just feeling very down Marisol saw the good in Otto and Marisol felt very comfortable with that. So I really appreciate the comfortability expression and the flow of showing that she had trust in Otto. Marisol was that character that pointed out a lot of things that a lot of people couldn't point out to Otto. Marisol was a great character, funny at times, and added to this movie very well. A lot of great detail on her, where she's from. So I like that, that they brought in some Salvadorian, some Mexican food in here. Like some real life scenarios would give some of that traditional, some of that flavor food to the neighbor. 
and it was funny how Otto liked the cookies. Those cookies, I tried them, they're good. I really like the character Marisol. She added to this movie a lot. Very good acting. Her husband did add to it, but you could see that he was a little goofy as well, that he just enjoyed being a dad. And a lot of the discipline that Otto has, he didn't have. So Otto was that person that made sure the family was on point. So great interaction and the family was funny. Great interaction as well with the daughters. There's a part in the movie where Otto out of nowhere ends up babysitting Marisol's kids. Otto is in his mind many times in this movie crazy scenes there's a lot of scenes in this movie where it's very intense these intense scenes with Otto of him being by himself in the room feel like it added a great emphasis with the flashbacks that added a lot to it so I enjoyed that it's a lot of scenarios in here and you want to know what's going on with Otto you see in the movie why he is like that he's having these flashbacks because of his wife and in the movie it's mostly like he's depressed because he doesn't have his best friend his wife anymore the flashback scenes added to that feel instead of Otto having to explain it throughout the movie. A lot of funny moments in this movie, good acting, the runtime for it being two hours, I thought it was on point. If it was a short movie, I would have questioned why it was a short movie. And there's just no drag scenes at all. Every character in here is very interesting. Cinematography in this movie on point, 10 out of 10. There's many moments in here where there's great tracking shots when Otto and whoever is walking with Otto that camera angle shows them walking I like that shot the whole neighbors and the whole neighborhood added to this whole movie so all the neighbors were great the cat that you see in this movie I thought that was great a lot of small things that Otto did that you feel like man this guy's going through it a lot this movie did made me cry at the end the ending scene was kind of expected but you wanted to know what happened and the lines was crazy and the lines was done well the performance was insane throughout this whole movie can't believe that Tom Hanks put out this performance I'm very shocked I don't think there's gonna be another movie where I'm like, yo, this is not gonna top Man Called Otto. Still have to get to see his performance in Elvis, but for what I'm hearing, he was like the worst part of that movie, so it's whatever with that movie, but this movie, huge standout. None of the characters bugged me. Otto's wife was a teacher, one of the students was trans. I thought Malcolm and Otto were awesome. Nothing felt like it was a forced conversation. They did what he had to do with Malcolm and Otto. I thought it was great, and it brought another good heartfelt moment into the movie. So I appreciate that as well. Otto with his neighbors and seeing the flashback on how he grew up with them, very insane. Movie in general is amazing. So I highly recommend it. Another inspiration movie that I'm gonna put on my list. I'm like, yo, if I need any cool ideas, watch this movie. And the soundtrack, Thomas Newman, once again, such a boss. After watching the movie A Man Called Otto out of 10, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. So that's my movie review for the movie A Man Called Otto. Shout out to you guys for tuning into the video. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, y'all.